Hi there, welcome back. Um, another short video talking about how to, if you have a model, how you can use your model to generate a projection for what the population is going to be sometime into the future. So um, in this setup, we've already created our run simulation function, which uh, takes in the system object that has the system parameters in it, as well as the growth function that we've specified. It runs the simulation by applying the growth function time and time again. Um, when we were dealing with the quadratic growth model, this is what our growth function was. And because of that, we needed, we needed an alpha and a beta in our system object. And so um, when we're creating our system object, what have we done in the past? In the past, what we did is we figured out what was the initial time, what was the end time. We put in these alpha and this beta because they were necessary for the growth function. And then we specified that the end time was the last value in our, uh, in our, in our function, right? That was something like 2015. Um, there's no reason why you have to choose that as your last thing, except if you're talking about this explanatory model that's explaining from the, the information from the past. If you specify an end value of the time as 2100, 2200, 2800, infinity. No, you can't specify infinity. But if you just choose a later end time, then what's going to happen is the simulation doesn't care. It's just going to keep running until it hits that last time. And so if you run this simulation uh, with this new end time, then it will go and give you projections up until 2100. And so you can then plot this. And we had this data that went from 1950 up to 2015. Now our projection goes out until 2100. So um, the author makes a really good point here that we use this word projection because it's what our model uh, it gives as a simulation. And it's not really a prediction because if, if we think this is really what's going to happen, that would be a prediction. But this is given a basic model, this is what we think think this is, this is what our simulation is showing. And so um, read through this and internalize it. All right, let's stop there and uh, see you shortly.